I wanted to do a quick video um, to explain how to ensure accuracy whenever you are choosing foods within uh, the MyFitnessPal app. Um, so say for example, you um, are needing to enter a food and you do not have the barcode available to you. Um, so for example, if we were going to um, eat a 99.1 ground turkey from HEB, um, and you already threw away the packaging because you've already cooked it and you need to enter it. So we are going to go through an example of how to enter those foods accurately and make sure that you are choosing the right one um, from MFP's database. So we are using um, my um, personal account for the FitnessPal app. Um, so that uh, ground turkey is typically something that I um, eat every day. So here are my meal breakouts. Um, you will go to add food. And so because it's something that I eat frequently, you will see it right here. Um, Jenny O ground turkey, and then there's um, the amount that I typically eat um, in ounces. Um, but say for example, you are just starting out, so you're not sure uh, what, you know, or it doesn't come up. So you can search their database, and so you know the brand name. Um, so for example, it's HEB991 Extra Lean Ground Turkey. And so you'll search for it. And so here it comes right up um, is a whole list of ground turkeys that MFP has, um, people have uploaded. So this is a shared database. So people may enter foods, but not enter them, um, like they're gonna enter them according to me, according to their needs. So for example, um, this um, ground turkey that was entered, um, the container is 448 grams, so that's 520 calories. That's not something that we would pick because we don't eat in that exact same portion that um, this one is entered in. So ideally, you want to find the exact same brand that you are choosing. So for example, um, mine is um, the HEB turkey breast, but I also know that the ground turkey, um, the Jenny O, is the exact same macros. So I will click on there. And then um, here it's asking how much are you eating and which meal you want to add it in. But before you do that, you want to look at the nutritional info. So if you click here on nutritional info, now it's going to break out your macros. So for four ounces, it's 120 calories, one gram of fat, um, zero carbs, and 28 grams of protein. Um, and this, this is accurate. So that is why you want to click on nutritional info. You want to make sure that not only whoever entered it, not only are they entering the number of calories, but it also pulls up your number, um, your grams of fat and your grams of carbs and your grams of protein, okay? And so that is how you choose it if you do not have um, the barcode scanned. So now let's go back um, and... Let's go back and let me show you one that does not have, that's not accurate, um, so that way you can see what that looks like. So let's say, for example, um, you are going to eat some peanut butter and do not have the barcode available to you. So um, if you search, so this person just happened to, to name their own peanut butter. Um, so, for example, this is the one that comes up, um, Elita's uh, peanut butter, one teaspoon. Um, and so she has it measured in grams, which is great. So you click on that. Um, there had the, they entered one serving, 5.5 grams. And then if you click here on nutritional info, what they've done is they've entered the number of calories, which is 32, but then see how there's no, it says that there's no fat, that there's no carbs, and there's no protein. Um, this is incorrect. Um, peanut butter, 16 grams of peanut butter is typically about um, five to seven grams of fat, a couple of grams of protein, and a couple of grams of carbs. 
So um, you do not want to choose um, a food item that doesn't have the macronutrients listed in addition to the calories. So let's close that. Um, and let's find a peanut butter that has, let's just say, um, Laura Shooter. I think that's how we spell it. So, okay. So this is a peanut butter that I eat every day. Um, old fashioned peanut butter smooth. So if you click on there and then, um, again, so the serving size here is two tablespoons and you hit nutritional info here is accuracy. So for two tablespoons of peanut butter, it's 16 grams of fat. Um, I typically half this. I only have one tablespoon per serving. So that would be eight grams of fat. Um, three carbs and about three and a half um, grams of protein. So this is an accurate um, MFP entry. And so then you would um, close this out, no, you know, knowing that it's accurate, and then you would just add it to your food diary. Ideally, if you can scan the barcode of your packaged foods, that's preferable. And then you would just determine how many servings you're going to have of it. Again, if you do not have the, um, the packaging with you, you can certainly use um, MFP's database, but you just want to make sure that you are choosing the correct food. So again, you would go, you would enter um, the name, the brand name of the food item, go to nutritional info, and then make sure that in addition to the calories that it shows the grams of fat, the grams of carbs, and the grams of protein for that item. And then you log it. And that is it. And that is how you enter foods into MFP using their database to ensure accuracy. I hope this is helpful. And if you have questions, feel free to email me at sarahscan.com. Talk to you soon. Bye.